Today I'd like to talk about how to properly install your tooling using the the collet system. This is an ER32 collet, uh, but they're all very similar. And I'd like to show you how to how to do it the right way and how to do it the wrong way. So let's dig in. So this is a properly installed ER32 collet or tool. This is a half inch end mill uh, in an ER32 collet. And you can see here that it's flush. All right. I haven't tightened it down just yet, but for demonstration purposes, this works. Now this is one that I did today after learning in school how to do this on the Haas mill. This is, this was my first attempt. This is how not to do it. And you can see there's a, there's a big gap. The, t the, uh, the top of the collet isn't flush with the top of this nut. So I'm going to loosen this and show you. All right. So inside this collet, now there are two in general, well, two that I know of anyway, there are two types of, of, uh, of systems used. Um, this one, you can, you can almost see two circles, right? inside here and the edge of the collet actually will catch well let me show you here so this feature here on this collet there's this ground recess in here that'll actually catch inside this collet and then it's flush it almost wants to hold but it, it'll come out now the other style that I'm more used to using with the Haas mill, uh, it's almost like there are three tabs in here and it snaps in. There's an audible pop snap and then it's held there fast. So with this one, I find that it's most easy. It's easiest once I get it in flush to hold it like so. Insert my, t my tool. I'm going for about 200, 250 stick out between the, the end of the flute and the face of the collet. And then I'll start the thread in this position so it all stays together. Now that I have it snug, I can put it back in my Call it vice and tighten it the rest of the way. That's it. That's how you do it. This looks right. This is right. This looks wrong. This is wrong. Oh my gosh. The things you learn. Ah, oh, another thing that's wrong. Bonus with this video. Surface rust is a constant problem in machine shops and especially mine here in, in uh, southwestern Illinois. I get flash rust, as you can see here, overnight. And this rust is from the, the oil from my, my grubby little fingers. So uh, the best practice is to protect these metal surfaces as best you can. And I'm going to do that with Sterrett's M1 uh, all purpose lubricant. I'm going to wipe these down. I'm going to, this one, I'm going to clean up with some st steel wool. Then I'm going to wipe it down and spray it with Sterrett. And then it should look like this and last a lot longer. The reason I like Sterrett is the finish, once it's dried, is not tacky and sticky and it doesn't uh, attract dirt. The other metal protectant that I use in the shop that's a little more heavy duty is LPS3. However, this one does, um, it leaves a really sticky uh, surface finish. Um, in fact, let me open up my mill and I had, I had sprayed my mill down the table with this stuff because I knew I wasn't going to be using it. For long-term rust protection, LPS3 has worked really well for me.